Claire and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. I loved Davy. Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. A problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. A thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? To get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? <laughs> now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> so, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. 
A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Dad! The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, no, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be destroyed. Oh! Friends of Mikadens are gonna come and rescue you, you no. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. For folks, they are going to get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Here's your deal, Dutch. Who's there? 